Good afternoon, I'm Alicia Smith and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Gabe Leland is now a former Detroit City Council member. He pleaded guilty to misconduct in office and resigned from the council. Leland represented Detroit's 7th District. Today he admitted that he accepted a campaign contribution in cash knowing it was against the law. Leland will be sentenced on June the 7th. The plea deal calls for no jail time. The federal case against him would be dismissed missed. The city of Detroit is launching several new initiatives today to ramp up vaccinations and catch up with the rest of the state. The city will pay anybody $50 if you can register and then bring a Detroiter to a vaccination clinic. Also today, city workers will be going door to door to inform people about free vaccination clinics in their neighborhoods. It's all part of an effort to ramp up the vaccinations which are currently lagging behind in overall numbers when you compare them to the state. Bush's Fresh Food Market is asking for help to fight childhood hunger. Bush's is holding its All About Children food drive. The grocery store chain is partnered with Forgotten Harvest and other Metro Detroit food banks. Today through May 16th, shoppers can make a cash donation by a $10 bag to be donated or donate bottle and can return slips to help feed local children. Bush's has 16 locations across Metro Detroit. And the clouds, they're still out there and they're going to be with us along with some rainfall as well. So you'll keep the umbrella handy throughout the afternoon going into the evening. Well, numbers are going to climb up into the 60s. So that's about a drop of about 20 degrees from Sunday. Not going to change all that much as we get towards the evening as well. At least we'll have some dry time, but more rain is expected for Tuesday.